fight coming up next. A UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. In the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil, assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? So All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's a taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Oh, straight right. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, he missed with that right hand. That was a nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Ninety seconds to go now. Look at him drive his shin into the total body with that body kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, nice, nice. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Big head kick. Knee to the body. He blocks the shot. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly going to like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge. And he certainly did there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at the force behind that leg kick. We can win this round. I need you to get the takedown. Look at the turnover in that kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. 
he's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Miss with that jab attempt there. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, lands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Man? Back and forth we go. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Another straight left. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we're going to the judges' score cards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person.